to, to oh come on. I think he's like more far away than he should be. Oh, I guess it's good to end it. Hi everyone and welcome to TWF Friday night. Whoa. There we go. Now it's heads. Hi everyone and welcome to Friday Night Smackdown. I'm Michael Cole here with Edward Collins and Corey Graves and today on Friday Night Smackdown we're going to finally see this, on this, this saga and tale that's been starting between Diva Talks, the under overseer and Ashley Williams the head overseer ever since Diva Talks started going bad not too long ago. All right. So Ashley Williams says, "This is the way," and I tell you, I'll get back to that again. You're right about that. Diva Talks has started to go bad again, and Edward Collins said, "I mean, and Edward, yeah, Edward Collins says, and she started." doing stuff to Drew McIntyre and to Dennis Rodman. Well, she has the right to do it, Corey Graves says. She is the overseer, or the under overseer. I stand corrected. Um, but she can do whatever she wants to do. And Ashley Williams is just going to have to deal with it. Well, here he is now. All right, Ashley Williams says, the way I'm looking at it now is that Diva Talks, since you fought, it was so fun to put, I put you in a fight and you thought it was so funny to put me in a fight. Well, this whole thing between me and you, it has to come to an end. So I'm gonna have you come out, Diva Talks. Cause I think we got something has to be said. Well, what is it? What is it? Diva Talk says. Are you going to fire me? I mean, yeah, I was brought back at the end of 2018 YL, of course. I think, yeah, you're probably going to do that. But then again, Diva Talk says, I think at this point, you might be the one who might actually be let go. Well, how do you think that? Well, how do I think that? Let's see. One, I don't really know how I think that. But you think that what I've been doing to Drew McIntyre and to Dennis Rodman, you think what I've been doing to them is wrong. But if you think, Ashley Williams, you know that I've been doing, you know I've been doing wrong. And if you can think hard enough, then you know, then you know that I'm doing the right thing. Yeah, I know, I know you're doing the wrong thing. That's what I know. And I know all the things you've done to Drew McIntyre and what you did to Dennis Rodman is truly not right. So, Diva Talks, I think, well, you know, firing you, that would be the smooth thing to do, but then we'd have to come up with a new under overseer, and I don't think that would be smooth to do. So, I asked some one of my old, you know, one of your old foes, way back to probably 2012 YL to maybe 2013 YL. You probably remember him. You know, he's John Cena. Yeah, well, thank you, Ashley Williams. You're welcome. Yeah. Ashley Williams says you're going to be wrestling John Cena here today on Friday Night SmackDown. Yeah, well. Okay. Well, it's been some time, Diva Talks, hasn't it? 
I mean, if I can think way back around, what was it, 2012 YL, maybe the 2013 YL, you had it out for me. I could think back of all the things you did to me. John, first off, don't come out here acting so bold and so fearless and acting like the ho the homecoming good doer, which you're not. You lost to my sister-in-law, the owner, Zena, on Wednesday. So, how does it feel to know that you lost to Zena Fighter Queenling? Well, that might be true. I may have lost a wrestling fight or a wrestling match to Zena. At least I have on look for Zena. Something, Diva Talks, I never had on look for you. I don't think anyone could ever onlook you and all the stuff you did on Power Rangers Turbo. Yeah, all that shit you were doing. Yeah, I don't really think anyone would ever onlook you for all any of that. But John says, today me and you are going to fight, John Cena says. And I know, Diva Talks, that you want to get even on me. For everything that I did to you but sure I want to get even on everything that you did to me during uh at that time John maybe you should learn to forgive all right I made mistakes I said things and did things I should not have done you know I may I'm a living being I'm a man-like, I mean a woman-like being. You're a man-like being. We make mistakes. We're not flawless. So, John, I think you should forgive me for all of my mistakes, you know, and mishaps, and uh, let it be what it is. You know all it is is Ashley Williams handicapping me since he can't fire me. That's really what it is. I'm sure he went, he probably went to Triple H, he probably went to Godzilla, he went to Xena, he went to the Board of Overseers, he probably said, I want Diva Talks fired, which we all know it didn't happen, so this is just his other way of handicapping me since he cannot fire me. Well, I'll tell you one thing John Cena says, we need to get a fight for a minute in the ring. I'm here. All right, you want to ring that ringy? Ding, 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 ding. Oh no, John Cena's got Diva Talks up in the FU. Michael Cole said, no, why did John Cena do that for? She's one of our bosses. She's the under overseer of TWF, Corey Graves says, because she's a, since she's the evil doer. And, and where Edward Collins says, oh, five knuckle shuffle. This is done. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner, John Cena. I guess it'd be like, yeah. And John Cena has beat Diva Talks here on Friday Night SmackDown. And uh, I'm sure that Diva Talks is not going to be happy about taking the loss to one of her old foes going back to 2012 uh, YL, Michael Cole says. No, and that's right, and Edward Collins says, John Cena and Diva Talks have been foes that long, way back to when the TWF YouTube Fairway started, you know, and that was at least about eight years ago, or will be eight years ago. Um, and that, if I can do, let's do the telecraft here. I know we're, uh, we a lot of time, but let's do the telecraft. Though, I'm right about the year. That was eight years ago, so yes. Eight years ago that happened. Uh, and Edward Collins says, 
Oh, that's good to know you know you know you know how to do tailcraft, Edward Collins. Good for a bloodsucker for soul who's only been a bloodsucker since 18, 1918. That's good to know he knows how to do tailcraft. Yeah, well, it's good to know tailcraft hasn't shifted in many years, and I'll have it. Edward Collins said, well, Mark Cole said it was eight years ago that that all happened. And Diva Talks and John Cena have not been friends since what happened over eight years ago. And now that we got back in the ring now. John Cena, you motherfucker. Now you're back again. Yeah, you're back again. You thought you buried me, John. You thought you besmirched me. Well, John Cena, I'm going to get back at you. If you're going to be wrestling full time or break time, you're not going to come in, F you me, and then go from being a wrestler to the show player again. And then, you know what? Fuck you. You're not going to go and come in here, F you me, then say, okay, I'm not a wrestler now, I'm a show player again. Yeah, it's not going to work that way, you motherfucker. All right. I'm going to get you, John Cena. Well, I understand now that we understand Michael Cole said we have Renee Young now. And Renee Young now is with Diva Talks, and Diva Talks is not happy. Well, Diva Talks, things didn't quite go. Yeah, I'm here with Diva Talks, and things are not quite going her way. You got that right, Renee Young. I have been in the TWF for eight years. And eight years ago, I came to the TWF. And eight years ago, I was overseer, under overseer. Then I was the head, the head team woman. God, I was actually the owner at one time too. But in eight years, one jerk has been a foe to me over those eight long years. And that is John Cena. I'm going to get back at John Cena. You see, I got this shit list, right? If you thought it was the Turvo Rangers, and if you thought it was Zordon and Demetria, and if you thought that it was only the Phantom Ranger, or Astronema, or do we call her Corone? Well, you would know, sadly, that John Cena is up there, along with Zordon and Demetria, and the Phantom Ranger, and... Astronema or Corona. You're up there too, John Cena, and I'm gonna get you. I don't care if you're a wrestler and a show player, I'm gonna make your life a living hell. You hear me? Well, Diva Talks is not happy about what happened between her and John Cena, and she's going to get even with with him. For the, for the burying or the besmirching that John Cena has done to her tonight here on Friday Night Smackdown. Back to you, Michael Cole. Well, thank you, Renee Young, Michael Cole says. We'll have to see if Diva Talks can get back at John Cena for, for that. We're going to see if he can get back at that or not. We don't know. We don't know, Michael Cole says. We'll have to see if Diva Talks, you know, can get back at John Cena for what John Cena did to her here on Friday Night Smackdown, Michael Cole says. Do you think that she'll get even with him? Well, well, you know, to be earnest, I don't really know if she's going to get even with John Cena or not, Edward Collins says. But I sure hope that she, I hope that John Cena knows what he's getting into. You know. I sure hope that John Cena knows what he's getting into coming back to the TWF after all that time and then starting something up with Diva Talks again is not going to be good, Edward Collins said. Oh, I know one thing Corey Graves says, John Cena, he likes to come in and start shit with folks, Corey Graves says. 
you know, that's what he's been doing for about eight years. That's what he's been doing for about 18 years as far as his time in WWE is gone. Before that, who knows what he was doing in OVW or the UPW. Well, I might be true, Michael Cole says. A lot of folks have scathed John Cena over the years for many things he has said and done. You know? But we're going to hear one more time from John Cena before John Cena goes. Alright, folks. I'm going to fall over, right? Is that post coming off loose? I hope not. Anyway, John Cena says, Before I go, I want to let everyone know that I am back. And never give up is going to be one of those things. And run, trust, and onlook are going to be some of the other things. And the way I look at it is that I am... Oh! You are what, John Cena? You ain't shit, Diva Talk says. I just knocked your ass out with a Mountain Dew bottle. No one should drink that right now. Well, it looks like it's all the time we have here for TWF uh, Friday Night Smackdown. I'm Michael Cole for Edward Collins and Corey Graves. We hope you liked Friday Night Smackdown, and we'll see you tomorrow for Main Event.